guys so this is my first story time on my channel and i feel like i have to talk about this because i'm just like i don't know if you guys watch lubin tay but i've been watching their channel and watching all the drama that's that's happened that's conspired and i'm just like oh my god like i feel like i'm so much like tay when i'm like a lover and i sometimes put myself in situations where i give somebody too much loyalty or too much love or too much patience and so i was like let me come on here and tell them my story about my fucking boyfriend because this shit just happened like this shit literally just happened like within the week and it made me look at him totally different because i'm just like bro as much love and patience and time and money i've given to you for you to go ahead and play with me or treat me like shit like there's so many instances where i'm just like how what and i mind you i've looked at myself like megan what are you doing like why are you dealing with this and there'd be so many instances where i'd be done like in my head i'd be done i'd be done dealing with him and i wouldn't talk to him for like a week or two and then some way somehow he would like manipulate his way back into my life or like sweet talk me back sweet talk me into him being back in my life and i'm just like i'm tired of it i'm tired of it so let me just get into the story right so let's get right into the video so mind you my boyfriend i it's even weird calling him my boyfriend because it's like honestly you never really like we had a relationship for like a moment and then you start acting weird like you start doing shit a boyfriend would do so let me take my retainer okay so mind you i've known this boy since high school freshman to be exact i met him in my freshman class we had a teacher mr turney shout out to mr turney if you ever see this video we loved your class shout out to mr turney i hope he's doing okay but i met him in mr turney class and he was just a goofball like he was just a silly ass silly ass n ninja he was silly and he made me laugh and he, but he at the time he was like a fat boy like he was a fat boy but like i didn't give a fuck like honestly i just didn't I, he was just a funny kid in class you know what i mean so i really didn't fuck with him like i only fuck with him in class but outside of class maybe i seen him here and there didn't really talk to him sixth grade i don't remember much about our high school interactions but 12th grade is when i really was like oh, okay like so 12th grade um I always knew he liked me like I always knew he liked me so and I always knew he made me laugh so we got closer right and so we was like I would go to his house we would hang out with each other make each other laugh like he was like I loved hanging out with him because he was so fun and funny like he felt like my little best friend you know what I mean so <sighs> while we in 12th grade there's a girl who went to the school and mind you she plays a part into this whole situation too because i'm just like the fact that he questioned my loyalty when you was doing this shit since high school nigga don't play with me so anyways we in 12th grade and we like you know we doing our thing like we everybody knew that we was fucking with each other so but this other girl she can't end up coming to the school and she ended up dating one of his homeboys and so we had all had class together one of our last periods we had class together and so in the class i started knowing that he was sitting next to her like chit chatting with her like like goofing around like they was friends i'm like nigga you know and if you know me i'm not gonna make no scene but i'm looking at him like she got a boyfriend and you with me what the fuck is y'all doing y'all y'all kicking in too much and I, i'm not jealous like, i don't mind him talking to other girls but it was starting to get to you know what i mean anyways I ain't gonna stop fucking with him because I'm just like, I ain't got, at the time, I really wasn't as emotional over him. I was just like, it kind of is what it is. So I kind of stopped talking to him. After high school, we tried it again. We tried being together. And I think I was just too insecure. And I feel like he was too much like, he was like a street nigga. Like he, he running around, like, you know what I mean? He a young, he a young black boy in LA. So you already know how that's gonna go. Like, I'm not finna, I'm not trying to get my heart broken. So we stopped talking again. Slowly, slowly after we started talking, um, he at the high school, I find out that he had been dating her. He had dated the same girl that he was trying to talk to in the class that he was kicking when they y'all they were just so friendly. 
Like, he ended up dating her after high school, after I was fucking with him. I didn't find this out till like, much later. Um, So, mind you, years go by. Years go by, bro. I ain't talked to this man, seen this man. Every now and then, I did think about him. I wonder how he's doing. Is he good? Because, like, we did, we ended things off, like, cool. Like, we, we it was never no beef or nothing. Like, never no hate. You know what I mean? It was just like, oh, like, you know. Years went by. Years went by. <laughs> And I think I went, one of my associates from high school, she was doing lashes. And so I went to go get my lashes done by her. And we were just talking, oh, have you talked to, I'm gonna give him a name, what a, I'm gonna give him a name, Toxic. I was like, have you seen her talk to Toxic? And she was like, I think Toxic in jail. And I'm like, he in jail? She like, yeah, I think he in jail. Come to find out, the girl who was doing my lashes fuck with fuck with Toxic too. Like, I don't know on what level, but she definitely um slurped on something, if you know what I mean. Come to find out. While the bitch doing my lash like and everybody mind you, everybody knew while we was in high school that we was doing with each other. So it's kinda weird, like but you know how bitches some bitches is just for the streets. <laughs> so anyways, she yeah, like she like yeah, toxic in jail. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. So after she said that, that was the last time I actually went to her to get my lashes done because honestly, when I got my lashes done from her, bitch, they was falling out. They was all they was falling out like crazy. I'm like, I'm never going back. And she told me she's like, Megan, if they fall out, just let me know because I want you know I want all criticism. I want to know how I could do better. And I get it, but I wouldn't try and take no more chances. <laughs> I didn't have time for that or money to be wasted on the on some product or service that was not gonna last. So I just never went back. But so after that, I had not spoken to him or talk, like ages more years went by, I guess. And so just recently, I would say December of 2021, he hits me up in my motherfucking DM and he's like, Megan, I'm like, oh. I'm I almost said his name, y'all. Damn, I said his name. Anyways, um, so I'm like, oh, like, hey, how are you? Like, how you been doing? Da -da -da -da. He's like, I'm good. Like, I want to see you. Da -da 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 -da. So he had told me that he had gotten into some more trouble and that he had to go turn himself in because, oh, he had violated his parole. And so I'm like, okay, well, you can come chill with us. Like, you can meet my son, whatever. Like, we always had like good vibes. It was always good vibes. So I didn't, I did not trust him being at my house or being around my son. Like, he never gave off like you know, a weirdo that I couldn't be around or my child couldn't be around. So I let him come over. So he came over, and he was helping my son with his homework. And Toxic ended up spending the night with us. And the first night was like, oh, okay, like, you know. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna I'm take you to go turn your stuff in the next day. The next day comes, it's wonderful. It's nice having him around. And it just, the, the days is going by, okay? Toxic ends up being at my house for a whole week before he actually turns, in, turns himself in. And the whole week he's at my house, it was wonderful. I'm not gonna lie, like, I was like, oh, like I like I really like care about this dude. Like this is crazy. Like so many years have gone by, and like he came back into the picture. And it was just like, it was just, it was nice. It was really nice. Like it felt like a fairy, not a fairy tale, but it felt like damn. Like I really could be with you. You know what I mean? So my bra strap showing. So anyways, yeah we we i think we did not want to like leave each other to the point the jail twice first we went there and we sat and he's like i just really don't want to go i don't want to leave you i'm like i don't want you to go either like i just don't want you to go it was so nice i don't want you to go so he didn't go he spent out of my house again <laughs> the next day he um Y'all, tell me why we got we went back to the jail. It was at night time though, cause we spent the whole day together. I was like, okay, it's time. Like we need to go. So it may have been nine, nine something, maybe ten when we left. Y'all, tell me why we get to the jail in LA, and we just we just sitting with each other, 
and we sitting with each other and more time goes by and we sitting with each other and more time goes by i look at the time and it's damn near 12 o'clock i'm like you gonna do it he like i don't i want to i know i got to but i don't want to y'all why we end up spending the night in the car in front of the jail just because he didn't really want to go turn his stuff in i really didn't want him to leave we end up sleeping in the car y'all <laughs> mind you while we in the car i keep turning on the car to turn on the heat because it was getting it was getting cold it was getting cold so i had i think i had i think it was we both in the back we was both in the back seat and we had the seats pulled forward and we do we have a blanket i don't think we had no blanket we were sleeping in the car for the chair like what are y'all doing like bitch, at this point go home like what the fuck but we slept in the car and i think we ended up sleeping in the car and i don't think he went in that night i think it's the next night that he actually went to turn himself in if i can remember correctly i think it was the next night that he actually went and turned himself in so he turned himself in you know some shit happened he had to go to another jail site or whatever i took him there pretty much he ends up turning himself in he's only in jail for like two months when i tell you why do not fuck with a nigga who's in jail do not fuck with no man who's in jail. He will call you every day. This man called me every day, multiple times a day. And if you know, y'all had to rub my window. There's fuck, there's bees flying around. Jesus Christ. Oh no, I can't do that. Mm -mm. So anyways, he called me every day like you know when guys in jail they be insecure like oh you fucking with another nigga blah, blah, blah. like what you doing why you not answer the phone it was all that you know all the drama you go through when you're in jail anyways <sighs> go through all that mess okay so okay my dude while he's in jail my old fling comes back around and my old fling i dealt with him before toxic came back into the picture before toxic hit me up i had been dealing with my old fling we're gonna get my old fling what's his name gonna be saggy i'm gonna name him saggy because he's a sagittarius and i got a lot of history i got stories about that saggy saggy is crazy but crazy like he just he's crazy with a good heart i low-key miss saggy but anyways so i had been dealing with saggy before toxic came into my life so while toxic's in jail like maybe it was like the first week he was in jail i was just emotional in my feelings and like just wanted like you go from like having this person around for a whole week or whatever and then just for it to be taken away i was emotional i was emotional so anyways saggy hit me up and I know, look, I done been with, me and Sachi done been through some shit. So I know, like, dealing with him, what I'm getting into when I like it. So at the time, while, while Tox is in jail, I hit up Sachi and Sachi come over and one thing leads to another. And it was great. It was fucking amazing. Sachi knows what he's doing. Sachi knows, Sachi, Sachi, Sachi got that. <laughs> Sachi, Sachi do his thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> anyways so i ended up doing with saggy right but after that i was like megan you can't do this you can't do both people like you can't like and this toxic toxic had came into my life and in my head i was like this is who i want to be with this is who i want to be honest with this is who i want to like yeah he got his shit going on right now but when he get out like we can we can possibly build something because we have such a strong chemistry and such a strong friendship like honestly besides being intimate and liking each other and all that bullshit like we actually had a friendship like that was really my dog like we really like have the same humor like really could talk about anything like toxic was like like he could possibly have been my best friend so anyways that happened with saggy time goes by i stopped dealing with saggy because i'm like i my heart is with toxic my heart is with toxic 
I'm, and I can't do two people at one time. Like, I just can't do it. It's not finna. I just, the, I'm not that. My emotions is not capable of dealing with two people at, at the same time. So, I'm only dealing with toxic. Dealing with toxic. Toxic comes out of jail. This is why I say do not ever date no ninja that's in jail. Because when they come out of jail, he was just different. Like, And he was different not in like, oh, he in the streets. Well, he was in the streets. But he was different like he was just like not himself. And I understand why he's not himself. Because mind you, when you get back into society, when you've been locked up and doing the same thing day by day, the world is kind of like, you kind of act different. Like, you know what I mean? But it was, for me, it was like, it was a little overwhelming. And I didn't know how to act. Me and my son didn't know how to act towards him because it had been so much time and he was already acting so different. So it made us act different, if you know what I mean. So, anyways, we're still dealing with each other, though. We're still dealing with each other. He's Now he's living with me. I don't know how long it was. I don't know how long it was after he got out that he started living with me. But it was like maybe a month or so. And then he was like, I'm finna go. Like, I was like, you can come stay here. My dumb ass. So. Um, anyways, Toxic ends up moving in with me. And things are cool. But I'm noticing like he's going out every day. Always with his homies. Homies always like out and about not communicating not checking in like sorry y'all there's a bee right here like why are you over here anyways i'm gonna just roll my windows that's really annoying so um he's and he's now living with me but i'm noticing all this stuff about him and i'm just like oh my i'm like i'm it's making me unhappy because i'm just like damn i'm trying to be a I'm really, really good girlfriend to you and it's like you not respecting my household me none of that so i kick him out i write him a letter i pack all his stuff up i even gave him one of my duffel bags i pack all his stuff in my in a duffel bag i put it on my blue chair my little my little action chair in the living room and I wrote him and I put the note right on top. Like, here's your shit. Good luck to you. I ain't got time for this. And my note was very loving, as, as I can remember. I wonder did he keep it? Because I would love to, like, have it back and read it. Like, what did I even say? But I wrote him a note. And pretty much when he had, when he had finally came home, he had saw his stuff. And he said, <laughs> when he had came home, I was in the bed, so I heard him come. So I went, I went to, um, I didn't want to go in the living room. No, did I, I, yeah, I went in the living room and I was just looking at him and I see him, he on the phone with his cousin and he holding a note in his hand and you could just tell he was like, damn, I really fucked up. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, you showed sure did. And he fucked up. Like, so he talking to his cousin and so I, I just looked at him and I went back to my bed because I'm just like, yeah, get your shit and get out. The fuck? So, his cousin comes to pick him up. He comes to my room. And he said, I forgot what he says, but he gives me like a kiss. And then he leaves. Later on, he calls me and he's like, you're fucking wrong for kicking me out. You know my situation. He my mom. You know all this shit we be going through. Because mind you, when he wasn't staying with me, he was staying with his mom. So, either his mom or he would go to his cousin's house. So, he like, you know the situation. You know how like my mom no, da, 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 like you gonna kick me out you know like da, da. i'm like nigga you i kicked you off for no reason he's like but you could have talked to me i've been talked to you i've been had conversations about how you were acting what you were doing that i just couldn't fuck with i've been told you this and you didn't change it like you heard like you heard what i said but didn't change nothing so you gotta go the fuck you already not paying no bills here you're not paying no bills you're not putting no food no you're not bringing no food home like Nigga, you're lucky I'm even fucking with you for, for real. Let's be for real. Because you have nothing to offer. Anyway, somehow he thinks I'm wrong. And somehow, I'm, and this is why I'm, this is why I kind of don't tell my family or like, I, I, I watch who I tell my shit to. Because he ends up telling his cousin that I kicked them out and blah, blah, blah. And they, they talk, they, they in my business talking about, oh, I am wrong for uh, kicking him out because uh, da, 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 we should just figure it out, talk it out. No, bitch, I don't got to talk shit out with you. You a grown ass man. You a grown ass man. You know what the fuck you doing wrong. 
So if a bitch, if a bitch communicates to you that she not fucking with what you doing and you keep doing it, she got every fucking right to kick your ass out. The fuck? You're not paying no bills. Your name is not on the lease. You're not putting, you're not, you're not offering nothing. I have every right to kick your bitch ass out. The fuck? What you mean? So, Toxic ends up leaving. However, we end up rekindling, you know, Toxic shit. Like, we just end up rekindling. Because, like, I, I ain't gonna lie, I love that man. Like, I love that man. I lo That was, like, my best friend. I'm like, best friend, get it together. Get it together so we can be great. Okay? <laughs> get it together so we can be great. But he could, he just couldn't do it. So we ended up rekindling though. And this is throughout the year. Oh, this is what happened. So I had sort of made a decision to myself that I just wanted to be honest. Like I want to be real about everything, like to be real about us. I want to take the situation serious. So I told him like, which y'all, if you only do it one time, do not tell the ninja. Okay? Do not tell him. Okay. So I told him. I told him, I was like, you know, while you was in jail, I was with Saji, like, one time, like, just one time. And, girl, they look at you different. Even though, and I told him, I said, you know, I understand if you're mad and upset. I told him, I told him where I was mentally and why I did it. And, like, I, I'm still wrong. I'm dead ass wrong. Like, I knew that. And I told him that. But I was like, if you want to stay with me, I totally, res if, I totally would love that, obviously. But you don't, I respect that as well. And I understand that. And so he was like, I just need a break. Like, I just need to, like, you got to give me a minute because, like, I just didn't expect you to do that. Like, I held you to this, 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 this stature. And it's like, when you told me that, I just couldn't believe you had did some shit like that. And I get what he's saying because if you know me, like, I feel like I'm a very respectable person. Like, I don't do shit to people. And if I do, I take accountability for it. But I don't really be, like, I don't fuck with people. Like, I'm really cool with people. Like, people, when I, when I talk to people, like, they get genuineness from me you know what i mean so i understand what he meant so i'm like, okay take your time do what you gotta do like in this time we wasn't together because he was like trying to figure shit out in that time that he was trying to figure shit out he's still coming to my house we still doing what we do all of that right but i'm not knowing that he really fucking with other people which is kind of like girl duh but it's like I don't know. I was just like, well, you're still here all the time. So it's like, uh, it seems like we together. It seems like you forgive me because you're always here. But he talking to other people, right? So we only like had this falling out for a couple of weeks where he was like bringing this shit up. Like, oh, you did da -da 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 with so-and-so with, with Saggy and da -da -da -da. And I'm just like, bro, you going to fuck with me or you not? what you gonna do you gonna forgive me or you not he's like obviously i forgive you like i'm still here i'm like okay cool so in my head i'm like okay we're gonna continue on our relationship like we're gonna continue to make this shit work not knowing that he's dealing not just seeing or getting or getting slurped on he's dealing with other people so whew, i can't remember what night it was but i think it was a little bit later in october of 2022 that i went in his phone because mind you i hadn't talked to him all week all week he didn't say nothing to me and so i'm just like what is wrong with you like what's going on so he is a coming over smoothing shit out like he does manipulating me in the situation and we end up watching a movie so we in the bed. What we were, actually we had a movie because I my projector I had ordered a projector for my room, but it hadn't came yet. So we were watching a movie off his phone. So we watched a movie off his phone, and he go to sleep. Wrong idea. Wrong thing to do, sir. Because me, oh you sleep, oh your phone open. I'm going through it. <laughs> I don't want to see. I don't want to see. And I saw, and I was like, ugh, so heartbroken, y'all. So heartbroken. So heartbroken. So, when I go through this phone, 
I see, you know, he talks a little, you know how, so you, you know, you small talk with certain girls. He's been small talking. That shit honestly didn't piss me off because I'm just like, okay, whatever. You know, you just be bored. So you just be entertaining people just for no reason. But then I saw this girl, I'm going to call her BBL because she has a BBL and it be, looks like a BBL. So I see this girl BBL and he has rolls of pictures with bbl like in her house she cooking for him he has rolls of pictures in his photo album of bbl like that's his girlfriend and he might got two or three pictures of me throughout his whole camera roll right he even got bbl's son posted up in his photo album bbl's son's birthday was sometime and toxic was there taking pictures of bbl's son like that's his motherfucking stepson do you <laughs> the anger <laughs> the fire i'm Aaliyah, the fire that went through my girl i said ninja wake up wake up and he like sleep so he like huh huh i'm like wake up who the fuck is this who the fuck is this let me know what's going on. Why you like? Why you got BBL son in your phone? Like that's your like 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 that's your stepson. Like let me know what's really going on, right? So he not waking up fast enough for me, y'all. Physical violence is not the answer. Don't be like me. Learn from this situation, but please do differently. So at the time he wasn't waking up fast enough for me, and for me it's like oh you you you. In my head, like, you had a whole nother relationship with a bitch while you still trying to mess with me? Oh, no. So, I'm like, he not waking up, so I knock him in his face. Wake up. Wake up, ninja. Wake up. He like, oh, like, he like, you know, oh, like, you know, he just trying to wake up. I'm like, wake up. Like, who, who is this? Explain this. He like, why, he like, why are you going through my phone? I'm like, call that. Who is this? And he's like, that shit, oh, that shit, oh, that shit from Snapchat. Why the fuck would you upload a bitch from Snapchat to your camera roll? For what? If, if that's not who you fucking with no more, why is she on, why is she on your camera roll? As of recently, too. And I forgot to tell y'all, too, the week that we didn't talk, my mom had passed away. My mom had passed away. And... I had posted her on Instagram. And when I posted her on Instagram, then he finally wanted to call and hit me up. Which, that's a problem too. Because there should not have been that much time that had gone by before you had talked to me. And you should not just talk to me because this shit right here happened. Like, it was just so much that had gone. I don't even want to go into that because I don't want to get emotional over that. But, like, he had already had me fucked up. So... I'm I'm like I'm like now I'm like <laughs> I'm like fighting him because I'm like bro you got me fucked up like you finna get fucked up like for playing with me I'm like bitch get, I'm like I'm like bitch get the fuck out my bed like the fuck like get your ass out get your shit and get the fuck out like you got to go and he like no I'm not going anywhere I'm not going anywhere he grabbing me he like please stop hitting me stop hitting me like you know what I mean like just stop like and I'm like no explain this shit like what the fuck. And so he he can tell that I'm like I'm like I'm dangerous right now. Like I in the mince the where my head was, I'm a, I, <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't wake up my son. I'm I don't know if the downstairs neighbors heard because I'm pretty sure they did. I was loud, like I did not care. Like I was it was finna get it was finna get cracking in that house. Like I was not playing. It was too it had been too much going on. Like my mom just passed and then I look at your phone and you be like cheating on me i had a whole fucking relationship with a whole other bitch playing step daddy to her son like so anyway you would think like bitch just leave him alone like you already got enough going on like just leave him alone but anyways we i, I i'm hot and he's trying to calm me down and so I finally called him down. He finally called me down. And I was like, you gotta go. Like, get your shit and go. But he didn't go, y'all. 
he said, I'm not going nowhere. I'm sorry that you're mad at me. Like, like, forgive me. You're right. This this shit shouldn't even be in my phone. I'm not even fucking with her no more. Da, da, da. Like, you're right. Like, I should been deleted that shit out of my phone. Da, da, da. And I'm just like, honestly, I was so, like, emotionally over everything. So, time goes by. We not really talking, but we kind of talking here and there. And so, I'm gonna fast forward to this year because the rest of it, we just been on and off. And sometimes it's good, sometimes I'm just like, Megan, why are you even talking to him still? Sometimes I just so after October, we just you know, it was on and off, like we talked here and there, like he would come over sometimes. Da, da, da. But it was never like we were actually in a relationship again. So fast forward into this year, this all happened 2022. Um, him going to jail and all that. Everything happened 2022. This is our whole year together. Last year was our whole year, like really dealing with each other. The whole year was, <laughs> you know, people were like, oh, I was with somebody for a whole year and our first year was so great. And it's like the second, third year was a tough, no, our first year was like, why are we doing this like our first year was just like ridiculous so fast forward to this year he been doing the same shit like going weeks going a week or two without talking to me um just he and one thing about toxic he has a very disrespectful mouth like some things he would say like we were getting the argument and if he don't understand something or if i don't know sorry if i don't understand something he like are you dumb and I'd be like, who the fuck are you talking to? Like, who the fuck are you talking? Like, what? And he's like, well, that's just how I talk to you. That's how I talk to people. I'm like, and a nigga ain't shot you yet? <laughs> who are you talking to like that? Were they letting you talk to them like that? Because that's not how, that's not anybody who around me. That's not how we talk to each other. Like, we respect each other. That is not respectful. He's like, I don't mean like you're actually dumb. I just think like sometimes you're not thinking about what I'm saying. I said, no, I get what you're saying. My problem is I'm a very deep person. I don't speak from a surface level. So when you talk to me as a surface motherfucker, I'm I'm gonna I I, I kind of get what you're saying, but I need you to break that shit down. Like be very specific, be very raw. But what you trying to tell me, especially if you care about me and you want this relationship to work, or you want whatever what the fuck we got going on to work. If you want it to work, be be real, be raw, be like be deep. Like don't don't give me that surface talk. I I cannot deal with that. So, but he would say like shit like that or he just very disrespectful at the mouth and i'm just like bro like i cannot live with this for years like you're gonna have to check yourself you know what i mean so just dealing with that shit on and off not speaking to him for days i'm just like we're not together <laughs> we're really not together we're not together you come around when you think you want to come around we i no not dealing with that so i started going out <laughs> I started looking cute. I started, I started showing some skin. I started going on dates. I started looking fine. Now nigga talking about, oh, I miss my bitch. I miss you, da, 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 trying to be on my phone. Like, leave me alone. Don't do that. Don't do that. And mind you, we never really went out on dates because he ain't got no fucking money. For real. He ain't got no money to take me on dates. Or if he did have money, he wasn't thinking about me. He wasn't buying me shit. He wasn't saying, hey, let's go to the beach real quick. Let's spend some, like he does not, he was not trying to invest in our relationship. Let me just, let me just be very clear. He was not trying to invest in our relationship. So I start going out. I start fucking with people. There's, there's, there's niggas trying to see about me. So I'm like, you not. And I really cared about you. Not wanted you to be that person, but you're not gonna be that person. So I'm finna go out and enjoy these people who wanna spend money on me, okay? So, I'm enjoying myself, and obviously he's hitting me up. I'm like, that, like, man. But he ended up sweet talking because one thing about Toxic is he's very charming. He's very good with his words. He has a very like, just charming way about him. So he manipulated me into talking to him again. And so we've been talking, but just recently. And this situation has me like done. Like it has me done because 
this is such a small situation. I cannot imagine if it was bigger how he would act. So I ha I don't I don't really be talking to toxic like that. Like we like send each other funny videos on Instagram, like shit that we know that we would laugh at because we have the same humor. Like you know what I mean. So I end up um we just been sending each other videos. So toxic calls me and he's like, hey, like my dog my dog is sick. Um, his dog stays with his mom. He's like, my dog is sick. Um, my mom has to go to work, and you know, I'm in Rancho. I'm in Rancho with my at my cousin's house. So he's like, do you mind taking my dog to the the vet? And I'm like, sure. I wasn't doing nothing that day. I'm like, sure, whatever, cool. So I mind you, I get to his mom. This is a bulldog, and this bulldog is big, fat, and overweight. Me and his mom had to carry the dog to my car to put him in my car because he would not walk, right? So I'm dealing with that. Take the dog to the vet. Get all the information. What's wrong with the dog? What the dog need to do? All that, right? Bring the dog back. Have the dog for a couple hours. Drop the dog off with his mom. Mind you, before I took the dog to the vet, I said, who is, who is fronting this bill? Because I'll pay for it right now, but I need my money back for my bill. Like... I'm a single mom. It's only me and my son. I pay my own rent, electricity, car note, gas. I pay all my bills by myself. And every now and then if I need extra help, I will ask my mom. Not, not my mom, sorry. I will ask my sister or my grandpa like, if I really need it. But I don't ask them if I don't have to. You know what I mean? So all I pay all my stuff. So I'm like, I'll front the bill for right now. But I'm going to need my money back because I got a bill to pay. He like yeah i'm gonna call him right now see how much it is and then i'll get back to you so he called so toxic calls he calls the vet finds out it's 70 bucks i'm like, okay cool i'll he's like i'll pay you back can you take my dog back i'll i'll pay you back i'll give you your money back right so after i take the dog to the vet and all that stuff i text him i text him later on that day and i say hey pool like my money because i need to pay my bill no response <laughs> no response next day comes i said hey when you coming home because i feel like he had, i don't know if he had called me and he told me he was coming home later on that night which he's a lie he's done it before too where he'll be like oh i'm coming over or i'll be over there later and he won't show he will not come home so i hit him up the next day hey when are you coming home no reply and then i hit him up a little bit later and i said you need to cash at me. <laughs> you need to cash at me. And he said, what's your cash app? I sent him my cash app. Didn't talk to him or hear anything for the rest of the day. For the rest of the day. Then nothing. So I'm like, oh, you trying to avoid me. You trying to avoid me. Okay. So Wednesday comes. And I'm like, no, Wednesday comes. And he's like, what are you doing? And I'm saying, and I said, I'm wondering why you ain't cashed at me yet. And then he says, sent. Y'all, why does why did Toxic send me $20? <laughs> he sent me $20. $20. That's not even half of what I what I paid. Right? <laughs> I saw I put nigga, you funny, like, where's the rest? Like, and he's like, oh, remember when we smoked like those couple weeks ago? Oh, well, the guy just called back because, you know, you know how you were supposed to cash out me $40 for the for the weed? And yeah, so I oh, remember it was 50. Well, that's out of the 50. What? Mind you, what he's talking about was like two and a half weeks ago. Two and a half weeks ago, this man came to my house and we was chilling. He wanted to smoke. So he said, hey, can you cash at me $40 to help pay for the weed? I'm like, cool. Yeah, I'll cash at you. He leaves to go get the weed, but I free I'm in the house doing other shit. I'm a mom. I'm always doing something. I'm always doing, there's always something to do. So I forget to cash at him. So when he comes back, he has the weed. So I'm like, in my head, I'm thinking, oh, the nigga, oh he got it. Like, he must have paid for it. Like, he got it. So... I, he ain't need no money and he never said nothing either he never said hey are you still gonna cash out me the money so i can give it to the homeboy like you are you gonna still give me the money so i can give it to him he had never said nothing ever else about that money until now until now 
And till now, he want to talk about, oh, I owe the guy money. Da, da, da. I'm like, that was two and a half weeks ago. If you needed the money that bad, you could have hit me up the week before when I had got paid. But now, all of a sudden, now it's convenient to bring up that I owe you money because you really ain't got it. So, I call him because I'm like, I'm not finna argue with you over no text. I call him and I'm like, what the are you talking about? First of all, that was two and a half weeks ago. And if you had needed that money, you should have asked for it two and a half weeks ago and i would have sent it to you no problem but you had a whole bunch of things to do earlier i'm back let me finish the story so anyways i when i got on the phone with him because i had to call him so i call him and we going at it like we going at it. he's like what the fuck you mean i don't owe you no money remember that we like blah, 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 like trying to make me wrong in a situation where i'm nowhere nowhere wrong nigga you owe me money like what do you mean? And this money, you told me you paid. I did you a favor. I did you a favor. You called me. Mind you, he like, I could have called anybody to take my dog to the vet. Well, why the fuck you didn't call him then? You didn't call them. You called me. And I don't know why you thought because I was your girl, you could just take money from me and not give me my shit back. Mind you, I didn't gave this nigga money in the past. Like, money. And bought him things that he needed for himself so it's like just when i tell you i need this money back you should be more than happy to get my motherfucking a real nigga would have gave me two three hundred dollars and said hey babe thank you for helping y'all i'm i appreciate you even doing this you know taking your time out to do this here go get your nails done here go get your nails and your feet done here but scratch that because i know you ain't even got it like that you could at least just give my motherfucking money back because you already know you owe me money like the fact that you went all around this whole situation to argue with me instead of being a real a real man and taking your ego and your pride out of the situation and being like, hey, Megan, I don't have it right now. I don't have it right now to give to you. Or when I get it, Megan, I promise you, you're the first one I'm paying back. Like, instead of coming at it like that, you decided to try to make me wrong for asking for my money back that you told me that you was going to give me back. Make it make sense. Because it don't. So after this whole situation, I just look at him different. Like, I'm like, oh, you would do that to me? You would do that to me, a person who's been there for you? Not been there for you. Not even just been there for him financially. Been there for him emotionally, spiritually. I've been there for him. So you would do that to me? Okay. Gotcha. So... It's, it's, it sucks because it's like I spent I I thought he was a person that he wasn't and he has potential to be that person but potential ain't shit y'all potential doesn't go anywhere potential cannot help me at all so now I'm just figuring out how to move on how to how to let go in my heart because it hurts and I'm just trying to figure out taking it day by day to like just move forward Cause it sucked. I really saw a future with him. Like I really saw a future with him. I was thinking about kids and marriage and everything. Like us really having a future, becoming closer to God and like really building. And for him to do that over some over a small situation, because it wasn't a large sum of money, for him to do that over a small situation like that, I'm like, I cannot trust you. I cannot follow you as my man. You, you're not a man that's worthy of being followed. Let's be real. So it sucks. And I'm trying to figure out how to move on. It's crazy because I still have his clothes here. And I bagged all that shit up. And I'm about to go take it to Goodwill. I was going to throw away in the, the dumpster. But I'm like, let me just take it to Goodwill. Because it's some nice things. It's like, you know, some good stuff. So I'm like, I'm about to take it to Goodwill. Because you got me fucked up. And honestly, the fact that you would do that to me, it's like, you pretty much said, fuck me and fuck how I feel. So I'm going to say... Fuck you, fuck how you feel, get rid of your clothes, and move on with my life. But yeah, y'all, that's my story time. I had to get that out because it had just happened. It has really been heavy on my heart. And I'm just like, I can't believe somebody, I can't believe you're really wrong, try to wrong me like that, like, the nerve. But I got more story times coming because I got to tell y'all about Saggy. Saggy, Saggy is a character in his own. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you love my video and you want to see more of me. So, please subscribe. Leave comments down below. I want to hear what y'all have to say. If y'all can relate. 
Yeah, yeah, yes. Comment down below. I'll talk to y'all later. Mm -hmm.